This was fing gross. Ready? Hi everyone. Oh, why am I doing this video? I don't know. Okay. I'm at least 20. I haven't experienced any weird cravings. I turned to my Instagram, all my friends who are here from Instagram. Hey, I just said I haven't experienced any cravings yet. Weird. What are some food cravings that you guys get? And that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to be taste testing some of your strangest and wackiest food cravings. They deserve a stage. Before we begin, of course, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. We're gonna start with hummus with hard yellow cheese. Four separate people suggested that I eat this. I'm very excited about it. This combination doesn't really surprise me because I'm in Israel. Hummus and gvinat soba. You know, it's like such an Israeli thing. Okay. Hummus and yellow cheese? Let's do this. Cheers. Not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna rate it like on a one to 10 scale for like grossness and like nastiness. And I give this a three out of 10. It's fine. It's totally doable. Moving on, we have hummus with ketchup, which also a fair number of people recommended. I love all the recommendations with hummus already. This is like Israeli version of like pregnancy cravings. How much ketchup to hummus ratio? That's always the... Okay, here we go. Ketchup and hummus. L'chaim. No, 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 no. Ew, ketchup, man. I'm going to give this a rating of eight out of 10. No, seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Yeah, seven or eight out of 10. Okay, many people suggested that I try this, which makes me feel like it's actually gonna be fine. And it's pretty much fruit with salt. That seems pretty chill. I feel like I could do that. So I have here just like half a banana because I ate the other half in my yogurt this morning. I'm an actually healthy person, so this shit is hard for me. Okay, salt and fruit. In this case, salt and banana. Cheers. I don't like that. That is not, no! I can't believe multiple people said that. I fully thought it was gonna be fine. That's gross. I rate that like a, like a five out of 10. It wasn't like disgusting, but like, it's just never how I would try to eat my fruit. No. Okay, moving on. Pickles and ice cream, which is like the ultimate pregnancy craving. Okay, are we looking? <laughs> ready, pickles and ice cream, you ready? Why is, whoa. Why is that not as offensive as it should be? Weird! Oh my god, that was weirdly decent? I'm going to give pickles and ice cream a three. Weird! I so expected that to be like way weirder. That was fine. Next up, we have pickles and peanut butter. Mm. I have less high hopes for this than the ice cream, but maybe I'll be wrong again. Who knows? Pickles and peanut butter, here we go. No. <laughs> oh, no. I tasted the pickle a lot more with that one. I'm gonna give that, let's see if I gave the ketchup and hummus like a seven or eight. I give the ketchup and hummus a seven and this an eight. This was fucking gross. Last thing with a pickle we're gonna try is uh, pickle and Nutella. I'm not looking forward to this one either. Why do pregnant women love pickles so much? And why am I pregnant and I'm like not obsessed with pickles so much? Like what's wrong with me? Maybe I'm missing something. I'm missing like a freaking chromosome. Pickle with Nutella. It looks like pickle dipped in turd. Cheers, bottoms up. Why, 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 why? The pickles are going away, first of all. I can't look at them anymore. We're gonna give that 
I guess a six, I guess. Oh! <gasps> six out of 10, fine, whatever. No, it's a seven. It's a seven out of 10, that was gross. Next up on the docket, woo, we still going. We still got this. I'm really impressed that I haven't puked yet. I'm like really proud of myself, okay. These are all genuine pregnancy cravings, by the way. A woman wrote me, she was like, I don't know why, but when I was pregnant, I loved baby corn with Nutella. She goes, don't ask. And I'm like, bitch, I do not want to ask, but I will try. <laughs> oh no. The Nutella looks so unappetizing on all these things. Okay guys, uh, cheers. We doing this baby corn and Nutella. You ready? You ready? Cause I'm not. What else? Let's do it. What? <laughs> I just don't understand why, you know, like, it's just weird. I just, I can't. I think I give this like a, yeah, six, no, a seven. It's also a seven. These are all pretty gross. The corn was not as intensely flavored as the pickle, but it was dirtier flavored than the pickle. <laughs> Eight out of 10, whatever. Eight out of 10. Let's move on. Ooh, I'm kind of looking forward to this next one. We are going to be trying Oreos with tahini. Oreo cookies with tahini, fucking amazing. Tastes like cheesecake, I swear. In which case I'm like, okay, just eat a cheesecake. Let's say you're stuck at home and you don't have a cheesecake, which oftentimes happens. Oreo and tahini. Let's do this. Cheesecake, here I come. I don't think that's a cheesecake, my love. It's still definitely not one of the worst things I've tried today so far, so I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. Okay, I am so not looking forward to this one. Is <laughs> We're gonna be eating popcorn with ketchup. No, I'm so upset by this. Everybody's like, oh, eat ketchup with this, ketchup with this. But like when you eat ketchup with popcorn, it's probably just about the ketchup because it's such an intense flavor. Okay, are you guys ready? Popcorn with ketchup, here we go. No. <laughs> no, no. I give this a six out of 10, again. Not the worst. Okay, this is so fucked up. A woman wrote, craved French's mustard on ice cream. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna take my beautiful macadamia nut brittle ice cream and we're going to contaminate it with this. Cause we're sadists. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Why? Here we go. Oh! That was whack. That was so whack. Listen, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset by how gross. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 for that shit. Oh God, no. No, okay, we move on. Okay guys, are you ready? I saved what I think is going to be the most gnarly for the end. Are you ready? We will be having chocolate chip cookies huh? with tuna. <laughs> Two chocolate chip cookies make a tuna sandwich. Okay, guys, you ready for our, oh shit, tuna's falling. Are you ready for our chocolate chip cookie tuna sandwich? Cause I most definitely am not. Oh, the things I do for the you, for you and the YouTubes. Cheers, chocolate chip cookie tuna sandwich. You have ruined a perfectly good chocolate chip cookie with tuna. <laughs> I'm like gonna cry. Okay guys, it's the end of the video. It took me two weeks to build up the men mental strength to do this video and I did it. 
for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit notifications so that you get notified every time I post and then like you can see me every week. Like I've been so consistent, you guys. Like come on, you wanna come back and see me every week. Thanks guys, mwah. Bye.